In the heart of Japan's bustling industrial sector, a beast roared to life. In the late 60s, an era of bold innovation and relentless progress, a new player emerged on the automotive scene. This was the year 1969, the year the Nissan Skyline GTR was born. Born out of a deep-seated desire to challenge the status quo, this vehicle stood as a symbol of Nissan's daring spirit and relentless pursuit of performance. It was the brainchild of a team of visionaries who dared to imagine a car that could rival the best in the world, a car that could redefine the very meaning of performance. The Skyline GTR was more than just a car. It was a statement. Its design was a departure from the norm, a bold blend of elegance and aggression. It bore the heart of a lion, a two-litre straight-six engine that roared with unparalleled might. Its prowess on the road was a testament to its remarkable engineering, a promise of speed, power and agility. It was a car that didn't just drive, it danced, it lipped, it soared, but what truly set the GTR apart was not its design nor its engine, but its spirit. It was a car built not for the many, but for the few, for those who dared to push boundaries, who had the courage to defy the ordinary, who craved the thrill of the open road. It was a car for the brave, the bold, the relentless. From its humble beginnings, the Skyline GTR was infused with a unique blend of Japanese craftsmanship and cutting-edge technology. Every bolt, every weld, every curve was a testament to Nissan's commitment to perfection. It was a car that refused to compromise, that demanded the best, that challenged the impossible. Little did the world know the Skyline GTR was no ordinary car. It was destined to leave a lasting legacy. Its roar would echo through the decades, its spirit would inspire generations, and its legend would forever change the world of automotive design. This, ladies and gentlemen, was the birth of a legend, the birth of the Nissan Skyline GTR. As the beast took to the streets, it began to stir a revolution. With its roaring engine and sleek design, the Skyline GTR didn't just change the game, it owned the game. This was no ordinary car, it was a champion on wheels, a titan on the tarmac, a machine built to defy the odds and shatter the status quo. The Skyline GTR zoomed into the racing world, taking the touring car championships by storm. It was a juggernaut, a force of nature that left a trail of dust and glory in its wake. Every race it entered, every track it graced, it dominated with a fierce intensity that left spectators and competitors alike in awe. Its winning streak was nothing short of legendary. Race after race, championship after championship, the Skyline GTR emerged victorious. It was a spectacle of speed, a display of unrivaled power, a testament to the heights of engineering excellence. It was the embodiment of the phrase, to the victor go the spoils. But the Skyline GTR didn't just make waves on the racetrack, it ignited a passion in car enthusiasts that transcended the boundaries of the racing industry. It wasn't just a car, it was a symbol of triumph, a beacon of innovation, a dream on wheels that inspired generations of car lovers. It became the quintessential racer's dream, the epitome of automotive perfection. The Skyline GTR's influence extended beyond the racetrack and into the realm of car culture. It sparked a revolution, a seismic shift in the way cars were perceived and appreciated. It stirred a newfound respect for the art of racing and the beauty of well-crafted machines. It made car enthusiasts not just fans of the sport, but partakers in the Skyline legacy. Its impact was so profound, so far-reaching, that it changed the face of the racing industry forever. It set the bar high, challenging other automakers to step up their game and usher in a new era of automotive innovation. The Skyline GTR wasn't just winning races, it was winning hearts. It was more than a car. It was a revolution on wheels. It was the Skyline revolution. Every legend has its peaks and valleys, and the Skyline GTR was no exception. Imagine, if you will, the year 1973, a time of flared trousers and disco balls, but also a time of economic downturn. The world was in the grip of an oil crisis. The price of petrol skyrocketed, and the automotive industry was hit hard. Amidst the chaos, the production line of the Skyline GTR came to a grinding halt. The beast that had once roared on the racing circuits was now silenced, its absence echoing through the years. 
For over a decade and a half, the Skyline GTR was a name relegated to the annals of history. The racing world moved on, but the spirit of the Skyline GTR was far from extinguished. It was merely dormant, biding its time. Then, in the year 1989, the world bore witness to a resurrection. The Skyline GTR 32 burst onto the scene, a phoenix rising from the ashes. Its reintroduction marked the triumphant return of an icon, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Skyline GTR. The R32 was a machine crafted with precision and purpose, built with the sole aim of conquering the racing circuits once more, and conquer it did. The Skyline GTR 32 dominated the racing world, leaving competitors in its dust and reclaiming its place as a legend in the automotive industry. This was not just a car, it was a symbol. A symbol of resilience, of tenacity, of the refusal to be forgotten. It reminded the world that legends never die, they merely wait for the right moment to shine again. The rise and fall of the Skyline GTR is a tale of endurance. It's the story of a car that refused to be relegated to the past. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of innovation and the relentless pursuit of excellence. The Skyline GTR was down, but never out. As the millennium turned, the Skyline GTR was ready to redefine itself once more. In the heart of the modern era, the Skyline GTR embarked on a journey of transformation. The car that had once been a mere concept a dream in the minds of its creators was now a symbol of power, speed and innovation. The Skyline GTR was no longer just a car, it was a legend. The R34 model emerged as a testament to the Skyline's evolution. With its sleeker design and technological advancements, it was a car that seemed to have been plucked out of the future. It boasted an improved chassis for better handling, a more potent engine for greater speed and a new six-speed Getrag gearbox for enhanced performance. The R34 was a beast on the roads and it left its mark on every race it entered. But the Skyline GTR wasn't done evolving. As if the R34 wasn't impressive enough, the R35 model stepped onto the scene, ready to take the world by storm. With a fresh design that was as intimidating as it was beautiful, the R35 was a force to be reckoned with. It came with a twin-turbo V6 engine that roared with power, a dual-clutch transmission for smooth shifts and an all-wheel drive system that provided unparalleled control. The R35 was a machine built to conquer the roads. The Skyline GTR's success in racing continued unabated. Victory after victory, it dominated the tracks, leaving its competition in the dust. Its prowess on the racing circuit was a testament to its superior design and engineering. The Skyline GTR was no longer just a Japanese legend. It was a global phenomenon. As it evolved, the Skyline GTR's popularity soared. It became a symbol of speed and power, a car that was revered by enthusiasts and feared by competitors. Its reputation spread across the globe, and soon the Skyline GTR was a name known in every corner of the world. The Skyline GTR had evolved, but its spirit remained unbroken. The spirit of innovation, the spirit of power, the spirit of speed, that was the essence of the Skyline GTR, and it was a spirit that would continue to define it in the years to come. More than half a century later, the roar of the Skyline GTR still echoes in the hearts of car enthusiasts. A testament to the power of engineering and design, the Skyline GTR has left an indelible mark on the world of motorsport and beyond. This fiery beast, born in the heart of Japan, has not merely participated in the racing world, it has shaped it, influenced it, and forever transformed the landscape of the automotive industry. The Skyline GTR was not just a car, it was a revolution on wheels, a symbol of power, speed and innovation. Its legacy extends far beyond the racetracks it dominated. The Skyline GTR has become a cultural icon, a symbol of Japan's post-war resilience and technological prowess. It's been immortalized in films, video games and popular culture, embodying the spirit of the relentless pursuit of perfection. The Skyline GTR's enduring popularity is a testament to its timeless appeal. It's not merely about the raw power under the hood or the sleek lines of its design. Rather, it's about the feeling it evokes, the thrill of the open road, the adrenaline rush of a high-speed chase, the satisfaction of taming a mechanical beast. And its influence doesn't stop there. 
The Skyline GTR has inspired a new generation of automotive enthusiasts and innovators. It's a touchstone, a benchmark against which all other sports cars are measured. It has set the bar high, challenging automakers to push the boundaries of what's possible. Its impact on the automotive industry is undeniable. The Skyline GTR has paved the way for technological advancements, inspiring innovations in engine design, aerodynamics and handling. It has shown the world that a car can be more than just a means of transportation. It can be a work of art, a technological marvel, a symbol of human achievement. Born in the heart of Japan, the Skyline GTR has etched its name into the annals of racing history. It's more than a car, it's a legend. A legend that continues to inspire, to thrill and to captivate the hearts of car enthusiasts, leaving a legacy that will echo for generations to come.